all right people welcome back thanks for watching man welcome back to the dark spirits channel the king of the long-term review the king the king so check this out this week i'm going to be trying uh blantons for the very first time all right so when you're looking for blantons just know that it comes in two different configurations that i've seen one is the 375 milliliter bottle which comes inside this brown kind of velvet bag kind of reminds me of the crown royal bag also you may be able to get it inside the box so in case you're looking this is what the box looks like boom and inside the box is going to be the bottle let's put this over here right so you got the big one and you got the little one all right okay so now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and uh crack this sucker open boom there's the bag and the numbers on here, this says dumped on 51619 from barrel number 277, warehouse H, Rick 54, 93 proof. So uh, let's see, it's got a little wax seal at the top of here. Let's take the seal off of here. All right, let's go ahead and pop the cork on here. There we go. Cork pop. Let's go ahead and pour out a little bit of this. All right. Now I'm gonna give you the color. It says that this is 90, what, three proof? 93 proof, so when I was looking for this, I was kinda of considering not getting it because now that I've had a lot of bourbons, I kinda of like things that are a little bit higher proof. And let me give you a little bit of the background information in case you don't know. So this is Blanton's, the original single barrel whiskey. Bourbon, which just means that as opposed to it coming from a batch of maybe 500 to 2,000 barrels all dumped together in a vat and then bottled, this one's come out of a single barrel. Good thing about that is, is that the, uh, the master distiller is picking out the best, the best of the barrels that he thinks this is like the best representation. Bad part about that is that you're never gonna get that same barrel again. So if you like single barrel is probably when you get into these you kind of got to buy two really so that in case you like it you got another one chances are if you get any single barrel product and you go back to the store to get that same barrel it might be gone so another thing about this is that i saw this in the movie john wick amazing piece of product placement amazing amazing product placement because uh, i was talking to a co-worker of mine and he was like man keanu reeves likes Blanton's and I was like wait is that what you think really it's like of course I mean they paid to get the bottle in there but it was extremely effective extremely effective because you know a lot of people hey they figure they can't be cool like John Wick maybe they can drink the same type of whiskey he does so that's my take on it okay so now that's enough of the background let's go ahead and get into the nose so off the top I can tell you I'm getting a lot of ethanol on here for a 93 proof spirit but that could be just because I just opened it getting the brown sugar typical bourbon yeah nothing really remarkable just typical bourbon notes brown sugar standard nothing special on the nose here all right let me go in for the taste cheers okay first one second one coming up okay so this is what i got for a 93 proof spirit it's very ethanol forward when you first open it. Mouthfeel is like a medium. It's not super watery, but it's not like syrupy. The mouthfeel on this kind of reminds me of the mouthfeel that I got from the, um, what's it? The Woodford Reserve, the double barrel, the double oaked, whatever. It kind of has that kind of mouthfeel, a little bit fuller on the mouthfeel. I mean, taste-wise, I'm not getting anything special here. It's like standard bourbon. The finish is pretty fast, but I mean, it's only it's only a 93 proof, right? So I kind of kind of had my expectations kind of down a little bit, and this what it just what I'm tasting. I'm tasting like a 90 proof bourbon, a low 90 proof bourbon. I'm not getting a lot of particular flavors out of here, but you never know. So let me go ahead and wrap. All right, so check this out. So as you guys know, because I do the long-term reviews, like I told you guys, a lot of times as these bottles open up, sometimes, you know, they'll change on you. 
So I will be back with a long-term review on the next episode. But off the top, I can just say, okay, you know, very, very mid. Nothing to get excited about. You know, the bottle's cool. Definitely cool. And, um, you know, I appreciate them writing the barrel number on it. But, like, right now what I'm thinking about is the uh, Evan Williams single barrel, which was one of the very first bourbons that I tried. I think it might have been the second or third one. And, um, I mean, that's 86 proof. This is 92. Um, I remember that wasn't particularly memorable, thinking back on it. And this isn't particularly memorable either so far. But, hey, I'll be back in a couple weeks, however long it takes me to finish this bottle or something. And then uh, I'll let you know what I think. So, hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm out.